Hi everybody, it's Sarah Bailey here again with Prairie Plains Resource Institute. Um, we're on to the second step now um, where we actually get to take uh, the milkweeds that have been growing in the classroom and transplant those into uh, separate containers. Uh, the separate containers will allow them to uh, grow better root systems uh, and will prepare them for eventually being planted out into a pollinator garden or a restoration site. Um, so it's always exciting to see these come up and uh, you'll allow them to grow uh, for a little while in the classroom uh, in the flat setting um, until they get uh, just about big enough uh, where they are just starting to get their first true leaves. Um, so what you're looking at here, let me take a few out of the flat here and I'm just going to carefully work on an edge here to take that out and just gently It'll, you'll feel it separate just kind of naturally and just gently pull that out one clump at a time to work with them. Um, so let me show you kind of what that first true leaf looks like so you know um, kind of what stage you're looking for. So um, these leaves right here are called cotyledon leaves. And so they are the first leaves that a plant will, um, will germinate and, and uh, put out there. And so, what I'm seeing then between that is this little sprout uh, that's growing those first, uh, what we call true leaves, the true leaves of the plant. And so once I start to see that, I know it's gonna be a good time to start transplanting. Um, it's gonna be a, a time when the roots are, you know, have grown big enough, but they are not becoming really tangled with one another. Um, and so it's easy then, you can already see them kind of falling apart in my hand. Uh, it's easy then to separate them out. And so I'm just going to gently kind of work each one loose from the grow medium, just like that. You can see those nice roots starting to develop. So I have my first few here separated. Um, and I'll be ready to get those planted here in a minute. Um, what I've done here is I've actually pre-moistened the growing medium again. Um, that's really important. Uh, also because uh, you don't want to have persistent dry patches in here, um, you know, so it's not uh, as ideal to plant the, the transplanted seedlings into dry medium. So you want to go ahead and, and, and take a bucket or something where you can actually uh, moisten that really well ahead of time. Um, so I filled all the other ones here. I'll show you. Um, I just simply fill each container up. Um, but what's kind of important is you're going to want to uh, make sure that you don't um, really underfill that or overfill that. Um, and so you can see in all these here, I've left at least maybe somewhere between say about a half inch to maybe three quarters or even one inch um, of space uh, where I can come in and uh, you can water those really easily that way. Um, and so it just is nice to kind of uh, have that space in there. Um, so I'm just gonna lightly press down as I put that grow medium in. Um, so that looks good as far as being ready to transplant into. Um, so for this part, I can either use my hands or if you have like a Sharpie pen, um, something like that, uh, that you'd rather work with, you can make a small hole like that and then take an individual seedling and make sure all the roots get down into that hole. And so you're going to kind of hold it in place, make sure it's upright and make sure that the uh, root here is also, um, you know, not going to be exposed in any way over the top of that soil. So I'm going to make sure that I've covered it up to, you know, a, an area like that on the stem. So after you're done planting the milkweeds in each individual container, um, you're going to have this set up then uh, again under your grow lights in the classroom. And so these uh, other flats that you receive, the ones that don't have the holes in them, uh, these are perfect and fit um, all these containers uh, within it. And so this will actually allow you to keep um, some of those um, bottom soils moist. Um, so you can actually fill this with a little bit of water um, from time to time. Um, just don't overdo it and don't let them stay saturated for, um, you know, over period, a period of days. Um, so you might want to let that soak and then dump that out um, once they've kind of soaked that up. The other thing you'll want to do is also keep uh, them watered and moist on top. So you can use your spray bottle to do that each day. Um, so just monitor the watering. Um, also make sure that the grow lights um, 
also are being raised up. Um, these containers are a little higher, of course, than the flat. Um, so you wanna maintain that 12, around 12 inches of space. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, um, since these grow lights don't really raise up uh, much more than that 12 inches, uh, I'm gonna prop them up with something like a brick um, or something that you have uh, that'll keep that um, up a little bit higher. Um, so especially as the plants grow, you'll wanna be mindful of that, that they're not getting too close to the lights. So I'm gonna observe these milkweeds growing in the containers uh, for about four to six weeks. Um, that's gonna give them enough time to uh, grow a bunch above ground and also send uh, a good root system down into these containers. Um, so then at that point, um, after about the four to six weeks, uh, we'll be ready for the next step, which is actually getting these plants out in the ground.